What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Kali Linux and how to download it, install it, and get started with it. Uh, if you're watching this video, you are probably interested in ethical hacking. If you're not interested in ethical hacking, well then you're in the wrong place. Do a search for Black Hat and go somewhere else. But, if you want to learn about ethical hacking, you are certainly in the right place. So without further ado, let's get into this. So what is Kali Linux? Um, well, Kali Linux is a further advancement from the Backtrack operating system. So it's basically the newest version. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the history of the OS and its progression and all that, but I do know about the system itself and how we can utilize it to perform penetration testing. So obviously to get started we need to download and install Kali Linux. Now there are a lot of different ways you can go about this. You can install it directly onto your machine and boot you know right off the hard drive into Linux. You can do a dual boot. We have Windows and Linux on there. Um, you could do a live boot where you boot up off a CD or a USB stick or something to that effect. Um, and then you can also run it in a virtual environment. I prefer to do the latter for most of my testing um, and research just because it's very convenient. Um, I can just delete, restore, do what I need to as I need to quickly and easily. Uh, so today that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about installing Kali Linux into your virtual uh, system, whether that be VMware Workstation or VirtualBox. VirtualBox is free. Uh, it works great. In fact, um, I have better USB support for some reason with VirtualBox than I do VMware. So for certain tests, I'll use VirtualBox. Uh, but most of the time I'm using VMware, but it doesn't matter. We'll get past all that. All right, so to get started, we need to go ahead and download our distro of Linux. So when you get to the website, this is what you're presented with. I'm going to go ahead and get to the download link. And then we're presented with various options. You should know enough about computers to kind of figure out which option you're going to want to download. Um, I'm running a 64-bit um, version of Windows. And since I'm going to be um, using a virtual system, I want to scroll down here and download from this virtual image section. And you can see we have a few options. If you're going to install it directly um, onto a PC or do a bootable system, like a USB or CD, something like that, you could download these images and do that with these. Uh, but we want our virtual images. So this uh, first one, we're going to do this in uh, VMware, because that just happens to be what I have open at the moment. Uh, once I'm done with that, we'll do one in VirtualBox, so the process is pretty much the same. So we're going to come down here and click the link for Kali Virtual Images. We're going to scroll down here. And we have the 32-bit and 64-bit options. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link for the torrent. Going to go ahead and let that load. And over off here on the other screen, that is beginning to download. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and we'll get started once that is done downloading. All oh, right, that is finished downloading. So let's go ahead and extract it. All right, it is extracted. And we have this folder here. So let's go ahead and open up the folder. Okay, and it is finished extracting. So now I'm going to go ahead and open.
the image that we just downloaded and now we have it loaded inside VMware so you can see it's actually a duplicate because I already had one loaded um, let's see hold on let me figure out which one is mine which one's the new one So then what I would do before you get started, go ahead and get to the settings and make all your adjustments. Um, two gigs is all right. I got mine running at four and I'm pretty happy with that, but you can adjust that and do as you so see fit. Um, feel free to adjust the hard drive space. 30 gigs has been working out fine for me, but if you need more, go ahead and add it. I think the most important thing uh, new people will have issue with is getting their network configured properly so they're able to communicate and um, you know communicate with the web and other virtual servers um, so this is your network settings uh, if you're new to this and you just want your um, your new server to be able to connect to the internet just like your normal computer or your host computer um, just select NAT and you should be good to go um, so you can go ahead and configure if you want USB to connect so on and so forth. Once I have all your settings um, set, all you'll need to do is just go ahead and click the OK button and then click the power on this virtual machine. And it's going to ask you, this virtual machine might have been moved or copied. Well, we did just copy it, so let's go ahead and click I copied it. So on this screen, you just want to go ahead and hit enter. And the username is going to be root, and the password is tor, T-O-O-R, or root spelled backwards. Boom, there you go. Kali Linux is installed and ready to work. It was that quick and simple. So let's see if, uh, let's see if our uh, internet's working. Let's ping something. Yep, sure enough. Okay, now the first thing you're going to want to do whenever you get this installed is go ahead and run the following command. This is going to go ahead and update your Kali Linux to the most current version so all your software is currently up to date because um, there's new updates all the time to various packages. So go ahead and hit enter on that let that rock and roll and we'll go ahead and let this go for a little bit just so you can see what it does
So that's all there is to it. All right, next I'm going to show you how to do this in VirtualBox.